Welcome back to Hyping TV. Um, here again, uh, I had one more left in the chamber here, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. Uh, we are talking about um, realignment here. Um, updated video. So um, this map, as you see here, um, I went ahead and did an expansion, um, calling it the new Big Pack Super Conference. So it's gonna be the Big Pack Conference here, Super Conference, basically. Um, I kind of did an NFL model style here. Um, since the Big 12 is going to be spreading out nationwide now, it's basically going to be a coast to coast conference. Um, expansions going on, and um, before I go on with the expansion, as you're looking at this here and you're trying to figure out all the teams and, and, and stuff and all the um, pods and stuff here, I'm going to go ahead and say it Pack 10. Pack 12, whatever you are now, it's over, guys. That's it. I'm done. I'm fed up. I'm not gonna defend you guys anymore. Um, I appreciate the all the all the views and all the likes on the um, the Pack 24, but that ain't gonna happen. Um, but this could be even better here. So let's move on to it. Um, I did come up with something here. Um, I I do have something um, for the. I do have something for the other teams, the rest of the teams that you don't see here, like the SEC teams, Big Ten teams, some of the ACC teams, um, some of the, even the Pac-12 teams. Um, but that'll be a video for another time. Um, this video here, we're going to just focus on the Big Pack here. Um, so here I have the divided in pods. There's going to be four. Um, there's going to be eight 14 pod systems. Um, so let's start with the first pod. Um, we got Atlantic pod. Um, the Atlantic pod you're going to see in the aqua color. Um, that's going to be NC State, Wake Forest, Syracuse, and Yukon. Um, NC State, Wake Forest, Syracuse will come from the ACC, I believe, or I don't know if Syracuse is in the ACC actually, but I know NC State and Wake Forest will, are. Um, they'll come from the ACC. Um, whenever that, you know, the ACC, I think they can, um, they're pretty much going to be the next one after the Pac-10, after the Pac-12 here, excuse me. I don't know what to call it anymore, so just let it go. Um, and I think ultimately we're going to get three, maybe even two big conferences if the SEC and Big Ten decide to join up. And that's, you know, when I did the list, and if you include Notre Dame, it's another 41 teams. So here we have 32 teams. Um, so that was the Atlantic pod, Northeast pod, you'll see over there in the pink. So it's going to be Cincinnati, Louisville, Pittsburgh, and West Virginia. So we got the backyard brawl there. And, um, if you look at it too, from a, you can look at it either this conference. I love about it. Cause you can look at it from a, either, um, a football or a basketball. Um, it'll, it'll be big in both sports, I believe. Um, so here in the southeast, you have the green down there in green. Um, we have Central Florida, South Florida, Memphis, and Tulane. Um, I'm kind of flipping a coin between Tulane and um, and UAB, uh, University of Alabama, Birmingham. Um, but I went with Tulane for right now, um, just because they, you know, they do have the better football program right now. Um, basketball, I think their basketball is pretty good too. UAB. Used to be really pretty good in basketball, but I don't know how they how they're doing lately. Um, so yeah, I think the it's kind of a coin flip between those two, but we got Tulane in there right now. Um, Central Pod we have over here in the gold, so on the the gold side of Texas there, on the on the east side of Texas there, we got Baylor, SMU, Houston, and Rice. Um, I was didn't know what to put Baylor with TCU or SMU. I knew I needed to put them with one of them and definitely needed to pair them with, with Houston and Rice because they're closer to Houston and Rice than TCU and SMU are. So I went with SMU just because they're slightly more east than TCU is. TCU is more slightly west. So that's why that's where the split came. Um, so that's those four on the right side. Um, and then right above it in orange, we have the Midwest. Um, Kansas, Kansas State, Iowa State, Oklahoma State. That's basically the middle of the country there. Um, we paired those four together. Um, so that's, like I said, this is going to be good for, for, for basketball and football, both. I mean, it, uh, across the board. 
Um, so it's kind of like a 32 team setup, like the NFL um, model here that we have. And um, so anyway, we got the, that was orange, that was Midwest. We got the purple, which is the mountain pot. Um, kind of the same I, the way I left it in the last video I did, um, but this is going to be a Boise State, Colorado, BYU, and Utah. That's, that's going to be a very, very evenly um, matched conference for both sports, uh, basketball and football. And then finally, we got the Southwest pod here. We've got Arizona State, Arizona, Arizona State, TCU, and Texas Tech. Um, so that's where the T TCU just made it into the Southwest. It was splitting hair hairs there between them and SMU, who's going to be Central, who's going to be uh, um, Southwest. So we got TCU in there. And um, then we have the Pacific pod here. So I think Oregon State and Washington State should come when, whenever, whenever the Big 12 does get the four corner schools, um, that being Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado, and Utah. Um, I feel that I feel there's nowhere else to go for Oregon State and Washington State but the Big 12 as well. Mountain West, that could happen too. Um, but, I mean, if, if you're thinking big things here, really big things um, and, and jumping ahead, here, I mean, here you go. I'm ha handing it to you right here. Um, so the Pacific pod here, we got in blue, of course. We got Oregon State, Washington State um, up there in the Northwest. And then, of course, down here we have uh, San Diego State and UNLV pairing them up. So you got the Southern California and then you got the Las Vegas market too. Um, let me know what you guys think of this, guys. It's, it's another it's another concept here. Um, this this one, I, I, had to, I had to do a video on it because... Um, I think this is this is going to be a better outcome than the last video I did. The last video I did, I was kind of you know I liked it and, and it was a good idea for a while, but um, yeah, the, the I, I was trying to trying to help the Pac-12 out, but it, it don't look too good for them. Um, so we gotta steer the ship here, and I think this I think this is gonna be this is gonna um, I think this is gonna this is gonna work out. This is gonna work out just fine. It's an even better concept than probably the best one I've, I came up with in a long time um, so let me know what you guys think um, there I mean the Big 12 can easily expand anywhere I mean they can even get more teams in the east and more and just fill fill the whole uh, map out you know just about um, as like we did here there's teams spread out everywhere um, you got all four time zones um, let me know what you think. The, the the tournament for basketball, football could also rotate between towns. You know, I have them colored here, so you know it could rotate in a territory each each time. Um, as far as the uh, the scheduling here, um, well, let's talk about the, the the championship games first. So, like for basketball, um, sometimes you, you know, let's say here in the Aqua here, which would be the, I believe it was the uh, Atlantic Pod, yeah. So maybe you can have it sometimes in Charlotte or sometimes in Met, uh, MetLife or uh, Madison Square Garden for basketball. Um, you know, just think different examples like that uh, for the, you know, you can have it at in, in Vegas. You can have it in um, uh, Phoenix. You can have it in um, Dallas. There's a, there's a bunch of um, locations here. You can have your rotate your championship games and championship tournaments around. Um, the team over here in the bubble, I'm just going to point at this real quick. Right there in the bubble, you know who that is, right? Gonzaga. Um, Gonzaga will be part of the conference. Um, since baseball and basketball won't use a pod system, that's just more for football for scheduling purposes, which we'll get into in a second here. But, um, yeah, Gonzaga for basketball and baseball. Uh, I think they're the, they'll be a great fit for this conference, and I think they're already being, um, being talked to. Uh, the commissioner likes Gonzaga a lot. He said that before, and um, I've heard that button played so many times <laughs> on a podcast I watch. So it's funny; it's stuck in my head. Um, but I like Gonzaga too to join the conference. Um, for football, ten non-conference games. Um, I mean, ten conference games. Excuse me, three non-conference games. That'll be thirteen regular se season games. So they'll expand one more game a season. Um, so the three non-conference games, and then you play one team from uh, from each of the other pods, just one team, and it'll it'll be so in a player's four-year career, he'll play each team once. So 
uh, Arizona, for example, um, we'll use Arizona here because <laughs> that's my team. And congratulations, Pac-12 champs, tournament champs, um, bear down. Anyway, uh, for the great job, by the way, guys, for the for Arizona. So let's just use football for an example. It'll be 20 for basketball, by the way, uh, 20 basketball uh, conference games. And anyway, for football, it's back to football. It's a better scheduled um, example. So for the 10 conference games, um, so you play, of course, you play everybody in your pod once every year. That doesn't change. Um, everybody else, you play once. So let's say the Pacific pod year, this is um, in a, just we're just using a player's career for an example. So year one, he'll play San Diego State in the Pacific. In the mountain, they'll play Colorado. Midwest, they'll play Oklahoma State. Uh, Central, you know, one of those teams will be. So, and then and there'll be a different team year two, different team year three, different team year four, and then it'll start over again, and a a new four year cycle. So, um, that's for scheduling. Um, and I hope at least one non conference game against a, a ex um, Pac twelve opponent like you know Arizona versus Oregon, once every what however many years that will be. Um, six seven eight years however however many years that's going to be um and vice versa for for the rest of the teams usc ucla washington all of them because i feel washington and oregon will go to the big 10. i think four corner schools will go to the big 12. um and then i think eventually stanford and cal end up in the big 10 too and then we'll have all this um stuff to figure out um but the big 12 i mean here you go you're not going after i know any of those i don't believe they're going after Oregon, Washington, Cal, Stanford. I could be wrong, but um, as far as all the other all the other teams that are available, you can go easily get after all the rest of these teams. I'm sorry for the American Conference, but you have to know at some point that this was going to happen, and um, we're here now. So other conferences get gobbled up. Pac-12 will be no more. ACC eventually will be no more. And American, well, unfortunately, might be one of them as well. Unless they could find a way to get some of these other teams from the MAC or any of these other smaller conferences that have been around for a longer time, that probably don't need to be around anymore either, just like the Pac-12. So um, let me know. Give me your comments on this. Um, until again, guys, uh, I just I love um, sharing ideas and uh, I I pay attention to everyone's uh, YouTube from time to time as much as I can. And um, so good stuff, good content, great ideas and. Uh, this is just mine. I like to share it with you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Comments are welcome. And um, please share, like, subscribe, and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.